Stable Diffusion has so many checkpoints, it can be a challenge to find the newest gems amongst the sea of boobs and beauty enhancing models. And while those aren't a bad thing, this is YouTube. So let's explore 4 realistic checkpoints so you can spend less time reading and more time creating. But like the video and give it to me bite sized. So our first checkpoint is Photon, published by Photographer, and this model promises photorealistic and visually appealing images effortlessly. I love the thought of effortlessly generating photorealism, especially if the results are good. And looking at the example images, they look pretty decent, considering this checkpoint is on version 1. Looking at the description, the model encourages a simple sentence for the prompt, and I notice he has some comma separated styling at the end, but they also note that negative embeddings should be avoided. So I tried generating an image using the example image generation data to see what kind of outcome we would get, and we get a very similar and impressive image. The clothing is looking somewhat plastic and on the brink of tearing at the slightest bit of resistance, and there's this lack of material consistency with the arms looking more like a stitched fabric, while the stretched areas look more like a plastic puffer jacket. But the hair is quite erratic and captures the light quite nicely, alongside having those individual strands and the detail required to see them. The skin has a nice texture, even at a distance, and the overall anatomy looks fantastic, with nothing sticking out as odd or out of place. But the lighting is somewhat harsh, making it tricky to see the detail, as there's a heavy contrast between the dark shadows and the light on the skin. Now I think that most of these issues are just styling problems, so I ran another test, using the simple prompt, a woman standing in a field, and I got this image which represents my prompt nicely with excellent results. It's simply a woman standing in a field, looking like she's having a day out with a trench coat, and there's a good amount of content in the image from that small description. Everything looks fine, except for the eyes, which seem to be a bit wonky and lacking the same level of detail given to other areas. Lastly, I wanted to generate my own custom image to really push this checkpoint into areas outside of its comfort zone. So I generated an image of a woman standing in the lift. The image came out well, with the detail we would expect, but with wonky hands and the background closer to a fitting room than an actual lift. My environment pieces look fantastic, but there's no alien spaceship sticking out of the building. But we do get these very convincing street level shots, which have so much variety, you could mistake it for a photo, if not for the bad logos on the building. The next checkpoint is Epic Realism, published by Epinikion, which promises realism, so I'm expecting that much at least. It encourages the use of simple prompts, with no need to use hieroglyphic keywords like masterpiece or best quality, which may or may not actually do anything. They also specified that you can add Asian or Chinese to the negative prompts if you're looking for other ethnicities other than Asian, so perhaps this model was trained on a majority Asian dataset. Now something which sticks out to me is despite promising good results with simple prompts, the example images have complex prompts, and even the negative prompts are expansive. I'm worried that my simple image generation will turn out poorly, but we'll see. Running our first test, I've taken the best image from their collection and attempted my own generation using their data, which uses an embedding in the negative prompt called Bad Hand V4, and it uses an upscaler, which I had to install from some dodgy looking website, so hopefully, no one's mining Bitcoin while I'm asleep. But we get an image similar to the one we copied, and the realism is actually on par with a photograph I'd expect to see on Instagram. I'm not sure why, but there's something about this from the detail on the hair, to the erratic strands, to the face which is expressive and well lit. The clothing looks convincing, with variations in the creases and wrinkles, although the mouth and eyes have small artifacts when zooming in, but besides this, there's not much going wrong. My next test is to do a simple prompt, and I wanted to test this with both a simple prompt and a simple negative prompt, keeping only that negative embedding we have installed, to see why we're using so many prompts. And something I noticed while generating an image with a simple prompt, a woman standing in the field, is that they are all very distant shots, with the subject facing away from the camera. I tried using only a negative embedding, bad hand v4, and this gave me a closer shot, so maybe the negative prompts were messing up the camera angles. My second image came out fantastic, even without all of those negative prompts, and we get this lady standing in the lift in a corporate setting, as described with all of that realistic detail we expect. I also like how the shirt has different layers of translucency near the folds and where the bra is located. 
Finally, for my environment images, I removed the bad hand embedding, as there shouldn't be any hands in our images, and the results are pretty bad to say the least. One bright side is that the UFO was captured this time, but the downside is that the building looks really bad, like a sketch rather than a photo. I tried doing one with a negative prompt added in, and the result was much better, but still leaving much to be desired. Now our previous photos have better environments than this, so I'm not saying it can't be done. And to prove this, I generated another image, using the example photo, in the amusement park, and this result was infinitely better, proving that this checkpoint can produce great environment pieces. Our next checkpoint is Juggernaut, published by CanDo AI, which sounds strong, so my expectations are already high. Looking at the example images, we have a good variety of fantasy, portraits, and stylized pieces, which I'll try out, as it seems this may be a good multi-purpose checkpoint. Starting off with this discount Iron Man on a 4x ultra sharp upscaler, we get a very similar result to the reference image, and the whole picture has this beautiful lighting, looking like a shot from a movie. The eyes look great, the hair looks nicely textured, and even the metal armor has dents, rust, and other materials, giving it some nice variety. I can't find anything out of place in this image, except the ear looks slightly further back than it should be, but that's me cherry picking. Next, trying out a simple prompt, we get this woman standing in the field, and oh my god, look at those toes. I am so sorry to any feet lovers in the audience, divert your eyes, but outside of the feet, everything else looks pretty good. The hands aren't too bad, the clothes look good, and we have a nice design, and nothing on the face looks particularly bad, except for one eye being slightly wonkier than the other. The field also looks quite nice, so no issues there. Next, generating our own custom character, we get a brilliant result minus the black blazer, but everything else looks to be in place. The hands are wonky, but the surroundings are quite nice, and nothing outside of the hand and left eye seems particularly odd. We have that translucency in the shirt, so you can see some of the skin tones coming through, and the black mess tights seem to be rendering nicely. We also aren't in any kind of lift, but it looks like a corporate setting at the very least. Next, generating an environment on its own, I've noticed that some of these checkpoints seem to struggle with buildings, especially glass buildings, and I'm not happy with the results I got on this checkpoint, as our buildings look slightly warped. But there are other environment pieces provided as examples which look fantastic, so it can be done using this checkpoint. But next, let's try out those stylized pieces to see how they turn out, starting with this awesome painting of a boat. Now ours turned out worse using the same generation data, giving us multiple boats in the same art style instead of one. But this checkpoint can do different styles of art, including a fantasy style castle in the sky and this oil style painting of some sunflowers, which all turned out as expected, with some slight variations between the examples and my own images. Lastly, we have Versimilitude, published by Who Saw What's This, which is a mouthful and promises realistic character portraits in a variety of genres, but can do a multitude of other things except for anime. Sorry weebs. The example images have no seeds, and a severe lack of data, which is already a bad sign. So I try to fill in the missing gaps with a portrait resolution, and using the high res fix with 4x ultra sharp, which will hopefully draw out some of that detail, and mimic the portrait of the example images. But no matter what we generate, it won't look exactly the same, because without the seed, we're rolling a dice with infinite size to land on, but let's take it out for a spin regardless. Also worth noting that we have two embeddings installed called Neg Sketch 2 and Neg Anime. The result is a realistic looking character with borders on 3D and has some anatomy issues around the lips and eyes. The clothing seems a bit odd, but perhaps on a different seed, the result might be better. The result isn't too far off what was advertised, but without the generation data, we'll just have to make an educated guess going forward. Moving on to a more simple character, we get what we expected, which is a woman standing in the field, and the results are pretty good. I don't see any anatomy issues, the hands are fine, clothing is fine, and the environment looks good. This is a far better result than what we got before, so I'm feeling a lot more optimistic now. Now trying out our custom character, it turned out surprisingly well, considering our first image. No problems with the overall anatomy, except the hands struggled in this image with multiple fingers, trying their hardest to look human. The clothes are fine and accurate to the prompt, alongside the environment looking more like a traditional lift compared to the other images. I've also noticed that all of the characters seem to be having a stroke, with one side of their face looking wonkier than the other. But I hope this character's accuracy 
carries over to our environment piece because one of the trickiest parts of stable diffusion is getting the checkpoint to obey your prompt. And unfortunately it didn't as our environmental pieces don't have the spaceship or burning building but capture the building's details a tad bit better, giving us this aerial view as opposed to a ground view. There were these floating lamp posts and the trees look fine but it does seem to struggle exclusively with the buildings and there were examples of much better quality environments proving that this checkpoint can do it well. But to wrap things up, I think my overall choice out of all of these would be Photon as it gave us the most consistent set of results including a really great environment piece where the buildings looked good and there was a high amount of detail with minimum artifacts or prompting required. But let me know your favourites, consider supporting over on Patreon using the link in the description and of course subscribe. This is Bite Size Genius and I hope you enjoyed.